So the lens kit itself is $49.95, and it comes with three of them. Let's go ahead and take a look. So here we are. We've got our lenses, and funny enough, I'm actually using the fisheye lens, as you see right here from the kit, on my iPad to record this. So, let's get started looking at this. Here's the wide-angle lens. As you can see, it unscrews so that you can have the macro on the right, and the wide-angle screws back together on the left to the right so that you've got the wide-angle lens. Comes with a front cover and a rear magnetic snap cover. Comes with a very convenient little keychain also. So what does it look like when it's in the box? I'll show you right now. Put it in there like that, put that in there like that, and basically that's what you see as soon as you open the box up. Now you will get this open and want to see what are these things? Well, those are actually the adhesive rings that attach to your device. The same way this little back clip attaches here. So basically the same way that this magnetic ring attaches to the lens, the ring attaches to your phone. Just like that, the magnets inside the lens itself stick to the phone ring. The ring itself is made out of a type of metal with an adhesive on the back side. The one on the phone right now has a cutout, which you'll be seeing a little bit later in the video in more detail. Let's go ahead and take a look at the footage. Okay, so for example, let's say you use an iPhone, in this case an iPhone 5, to do a video blog. Like now, for example, you'd be holding your camera right about arm's length away from your face, and you might be able to get yourself in there. Now, let's see what happens when you add one of these lenses. So here's where the lenses come in perfectly. This, what you're looking at right now, is the wide-angle lens. It also screws off so you can get macro. When you get pretty close, you can get within about, let's see, about that close to a subject which maximum with focus is about thumb's length away. Now, when you take this lens and screw it off, it becomes two pieces, just like that. And then you attach the macro to it. And now you can literally get within millimeters of your subject. So whatever it is you want to take a picture or video of, you can get insanely close to see if I can find the ant. Boy, that's, that's close. There's an ant. Hard to follow these little guys. So basically, that's what the macro lens looks like. Really close. Once you screw on the wide-angle lens again, Now you're back to your video vlogging. I'll show you what the fisheye looks like in a minute. Okay, so this is what the fisheye lens looks like. That's with it, and that's without it. So, you can see a huge difference. The camera itself is now able to capture a lot more. So now this is right about nose length, about hand's breadth away. And you can still see just about everything that's in the picture. Before, I would be taking the lens off and you'd be seeing my nose hairs, probably. <laughs> so it's really great for a wide angle shot. When you're taking a picture, it's got a great bubbled effect. So here's where the telephoto comes in play. Let's say you don't have zoom on your camera and you want to get as close to the bird as you can. Just click on the telephoto and it multiplies it times two. So now you might be able to get closer to the bird. It's not that much closer, but it sure is better than that. This is my favorite part about these lenses. Best part is that, let's say you have an iPad, because it has a universal magnetic ring attachment to it, it'll fit on just about anything, including an iPad. So the difference now is that here, I've got a wide angle lens on the iPhone and a wide, wide-angle fisheye lens on the iPad. So what it lets me do is have a huge area of field. So you can now use your iPhone, or in this case, your iPad, as a way better camera. And it gives you video at a much wider angle, too. Things like the MacBook Pro or the iMac can also use these lenses. In addition, you can use the lens on anything that fits the ring. 
So in addition, not only can you have this, but you can also have it on this, on your Retina Display MacBook Pro. Each lens comes with three of these special cutout ones and two of the regular generic ones, the kind that you see right here. That would be the generic one. So you're looking at a generic lens magnetic ring, which is basically a piece of metal that works with the lenses the same as this, which is the cutout ring. Now, the benefit of the cutout ring is for things like flash or your microphone, so it doesn't completely cover it. You'll hear a difference also when I cover or I uncover the microphone on the iPhone, being that the iPhone's microphone is now where the flash used to be, very close together. So, benefit about having these lenses in that one package instead of buying each one separately, which you can, by the way, I'll put the link in the description, the Photo Jojo Lens Kit will work universally on any device that has a camera small enough to fit in the ring. In addition to that, it's only $50 for three lenses. 50 bucks! The Olo Clip is 70. See, granted, the Olo Clip is designed specifically for the iPhone 4S. This is universal. And it's 50 bucks. That's cheaper and more universal and, of course, more versatile. Yeah. I think it's worth it.